So right now I'm going to fly the Red Nova as a single stage. It's going to go on an E12-8, trying to hit that 2,000 feet mark. But I'm not going to launch because I have to add another lug. I just don't like the angle of this. I want this to be a little more straight and I don't want it to rear off doing anything, you know, kind of crazy. So I just don't like that angle. I want it to be a little bit closer and I don't want to get stuck on the rod. I don't want anything crazy happen. Just wanted to share that with you guys. My Rock 321. Just playing it safe. I don't want the rocket to get damaged and I don't want anything else to happen. So we're going to scrap the Red Nova as a sustainer today. We'll pick back up once I get a lug at. I'm at another lug about probably about right here. Then that should take care of this. That'll close the gap a little bit more and give me a better, a better flight, and I'll feel more comfortable with it. So, model Rock Speed Two One. There we go, Red Nova, no go. Need another lug up top. I don't want to, don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Yeah, we'll go with somebody else. We'll do another, another, another flight. Cool. Right, guys here we go we got a rocket by fliss kits i forget the name of this one drop it in the comments i forget you guys will see the design you'll remember it i added all the white details and all the, it didn't come in any decals so i added all that but i forget the name of this one i forget the name of this one but it's going to go on a d12 5 one of the cool ones by fliss kits and we're going to get this one going all right and here we go it's model rocks three two one going in five four three two one Way up there on the D125. Always forget those D125 engines are nice. We got a parachute. Everything together. Thought I saw something flying off to the right. Yep, I see separation. I thought I saw something. So we see we got two pieces coming out. We got the parachute. And we got the cone, the main, yeah, the nose cone. Flipping around. Kind of hit on the tip a little, I see. And we got the body coming down. Look like the parachute is singed. A lot of stuff happening today. A lot of stuff happening. Coming down near the tree and touchdown. I'm near the cone, so I'm going to check that out first. Might be good. Yeah, let's see what we got. Yeah, that thing shot off. That was a... All right, well, cone is good. Yeah, I see what ripped out. That whole screw eye flip ripped out. Cone's not bad, though. Not bad. So now we're gonna head over and get the get the rocket. Yeah, that thing shot. You can hear it shoot out of there. Okay. Oh, but yeah, that was on a nice D12-5. But you can see where it was a screw eye there got ripped out. So now let's head over and get the not so bad, get the body. Not too bad, but it's something to fix. Yeah, um, normally you put glue inside there, but I've seen this guy by the name of I'm drawing a blank. Terrell, he, he screws, he drills that piece out and put a wood dowel in there. Then he attaches his, which is a good, good method. Yeah, so, all right, so we have the body. That's all good. That should be fine. Parachute, probably has some singe. Oh, yeah, you got shroud lines, the screw eye piece. I don't know where that is yet, but it's attached. That might be gone. Huh? Bird marks? The oh, it's right there. So I see it right here. So there's the, yeah, there's the shroud, I mean, the uh, screw eye is attached right there. Yeah, so fast flight. That was a nice flight doing a D125. I mean, it went really high. Pretty cool. So, yeah, another one down. Model Rock 321. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to head back. We're going to get another flight off and see how it goes. Model Rock 321. All right, next up, guys, we got the Drake by Fliskits. Going to be going on a D125. It's Model Rock 321, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're new or if you've been around. Hit the thumb up button. Check the other videos, some launches, some crashes, some repairs, some tips, some tricks. Smile Rocks 321. Also, be sure to use the Estes discount code. It's on the screen right now. Go ahead and put that in, place your order, and um, get a discount. Smile Rocks 321. Get ready to launch the Drake. All right, so here we got the Drake going in five, four, three, two, one. Way up there on a D12-5. Five. five second delay and we got parachute. Everything appears to be attached. Normal, coming down, nice and slow. Nice flight. Coming on home. Oh, look like a little, getting pushed. I gotta walk. Uh-oh. I'm gonna walk a little bit. I kinda want that, but 
Yeah, he's up there pretty high. Can Make him the smaller pair. Yeah, can you please? If you don't mind. The Drake is coming down for a nice flight. This will be the better of the two flights as I can see so far. First one had some damage, a little separation, but that's part of this hobby. I got some stuff to fix now. Coming down pretty nice. The Drake always performs well. Coming down for a nice touchdown right there in front of me. And he's down. Very nice. The Drake. All right, here we go. Coming up on the Drake. After what seemed to be a very nice flight, or was a nice flight. Here he is, touchdown on top of these weeds. Hey, everything's good here. Everything's good. Everything's intact. Body land didn't even touch the ground, really. Yep, engine's still in place. So yeah, we're good. Parachute and nose cone, everything's good. Yeah, it had this big hole in there. That was from the last time I flew it, but that is it, guys. Model Rocks 321 flying the Drake out here on this hot summer day, launching some rockets. Stay tuned for more. All right, guys, my Rocks 321 still here. We got the Drake this time going on an E1218 with an altimeter running. And I have some pink dust, pink chalk dust. So we should see a cloud to be able to track this thing. So I'm expecting a high flight out of this one or decent flight anyway. Range is clear, sky is clear. We are going to go in T minus five, four, three, two. One. There we go. Still going. Eight second delay, still waiting. Looking for, there's that pink smoke. And look like we got a singe parachute or something It's falling fast. But you can see that pink cloud right there. But yeah, he's coming down. Unless, wait, well, maybe his parachute is out and it's okay. It's coming down slow. Nice, that's it's gliding down, that's nice. Nice and smooth, but the cloud, the pink cloud was nice. You see that, Oscar? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start walking over this way. This is coming down smooth. We may have singe, but I'm not sure. It's kinda, I don't know. It's kinda hard to tell. And I was running altimeter. Yeah, either got a parachute singe, but it's kinda doing a nice little, it's coming down nice and sideways, nice. It's coming down sideways. Kinda gliding, actually. It was kinda gliding. So we are on the ground. We landed on the side of the field where I used to fly until they planted some stuff on this side. Then I moved over here. But, looked like a nice flight. I'm going to see what this altitude says. I don't think I hit 2,000 on that one. We'll see what the altimeter says. But, a nice flight of the Drake. A very nice flight of the Drake on the E-12-8. And they landed in this trench I see, so I got to do some trekking. That's why you got to wear hiking boots out here. Oh, it's in that trench, kind of. Ah, man, that's kind of. I don't really want to go in there. <laughs> oh, man, I got to go and get it, though. I'm not going to leave without it. So, there's no stick. Kevin, you got a stick? Well, I guess I'll go. Let me go. I think if I go around. Oh, nah, nah, going around, I'm going in there. Oh, I got to go get it. What the hell? Well, I don't hear any rattling, so I got to go get it. Uh, there we go. Altimeters attached. Nice flight of the Drake landed in those high weeds. It landed in those high weeds. All right, so we're gonna take this bad boy back and take a look at the altimeter. Smile Rock 321, guys. That was a nice flight, though. Nice flight on the E12. Nice long delay. All right, guys, let's check this altimeter reading. I don't think it hit 2,000, so no, no 2,000. We got 898 feet. 194 miles per hour. I really didn't expect 2,000 from this one because it's kind of bigger and bulkier. But I was expecting 2,000 possibly from the the Red Nova single stage, but possibly not. That 2,000 mark still is hiding out. I'm gonna get it though. I'm gonna get it. Model Rock 321 parachute got shredded a little bit, but it kind of had a nice glide, so it didn't get any damage. You saw it landed in that in the trench, so it's pretty cool. It's Model Rock 321 guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will check you out on the next video. See you later. All right, so it is debrief time. You just saw a couple flights. Um, I had planned to fly all three of these, but I decided not to fly the Red Nova B-52 
because the launch lug is attached to the booster fins and this one this one is very low had i known i was going to be flying a single stage i would have probably had it up a little higher or just have two of them which i'm going to do i'm going to add another one about right here so that way when i want to fly to the single stage it'll be ready to go i just didn't like that angle um shout out to uh, oscar my friend that was out launching with me he um pointed that out and i was kind of feeling funny about it so he said hey if you don't feel comfortable don't do it and i was like you know what i don't need any any kind of tragedies happen so decide not to do that which you saw so this one had a chance to chill out today but I did use its engine, which was the E12-8. I used its engine in the Drake. But before we flew the Drake, I flew this one right here. This is another Fliss Kits design. I cannot remember the name of this rocket. It always escapes me. I just can't remember the name of this one for some reason. Um, had a nice boost on the D12-5. These are some super stable flying rockets. They always fly really nice and straight. Um, very little arch over. They go really true and straight. Like they don't really arch over a lot. At Apogee, you can see them kind of arch, but before they expire, before the parachute eject. But pretty, pretty nice flying rockets. But this one has suffered, man. It separated, has separation, which it pulled out of the hole. Um, Terrell, as I mentioned in the video, he when I was uh, talking with him recently, Terrell Dillard, real good guy. He's um he flies competition. He's the NAR member. He's great, great guy. He really flies like super some great competition models. Um, he's a champion. He got trophies and stuff. He drills this out and he puts a wood dowel on there and then he attaches his screw eye to that i got in the way with doing just a screw eye with some glue but today it bit me and it ripped out so this fell down and hits the ground um not bad it kind of was flipping into over in but the tip did hit a little bit but not bad at all that's not bad that's nothing that's nothing that's an easy easy fix if I, if I even decide to touch it but other than that damage i did notice the engine hook is gone um the engine hook is gone this one has an engine hook I have a little light. I usually have a flashlight around. I don't see it right now. I can't. Oh, there it is. So yeah, the engine hook is gone. So I have to try to figure something out. So I see the thrust ring. Yeah, it ripped out, man. It's gone. I see like just issues. Like you had an engine hook that was barely holding the engine on. It would always kick the engine out, but I would tape it in place. But this injection charge fired, and I'm trying to look down in there and see. Yeah, ejection charge fired, I guess, and it kicked the engine out the back and it took the engine hook with it, possibly. So, this is something else to fix. That's the hobby. <laughs> you're either launching and they're successful, or you're either crashing and or having some other issue and you are doing some repairs. So, that was this flight. Like I said, great boost, great flight, separation, you know, lose points, whatever, however you want to score it. That's how I look at those things. Next up, we have the Drake, which is a great flying rocket. Float on a D engine first. Um, great flight, flew pretty nice, recovered well, downrange, great flight, perfect, no complaints at all. But I took the engine out of the Red Nova, which is the E12, and I flew it, I flew it again, and it was nice, had some parachute singe, had the pink powder, and I ran, and I ran an altimeter. I, did, I knew it wasn't going to go 2,000 feet, um, but it did give me a nice flight. Wow, this is feeling really stuck, but there we go. So yeah, E12-8 was in there. Nice, nice flight. As you saw, it kind of had like a glide as one part of the parachute. It uh, singed a little. Singed a little, but nothing bad. I don't need to pull that out. I had the big pink of uh, the dust in there so I could spot it nice and easy. That is a great tip you guys should be doing. If you got some high flying stuff, put some pink chalk dust in there and it will make a nice big cloud in the sky for you, for you to spot your model. So that's just one of the things I've been doing, especially for these high flyers. When I fly this on the E12 again, or anything higher, definitely going to load it up with some of that pink um, chalk dust. It's really lightweight, give you a nice cloud, as you saw. And um, that's just something I'm going to be doing, man. This is Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe for some more videos. Got some launch videos coming. I got the So Long um, Build video. That's in progress. So it's all built. Just got to lay down some paint. And that'll be coming through real soon. Keep supporting the channel, man. Hit the thumb up. Check the links. Estes discount code. Be sure to drop that in. Get yourself a discount on something. This is Model Rocks 321, and we will be back with another video here real soon. Model Rockets.